cold out here? Yeah. All right, Devin and I are out here today. Uh, we have some big projects coming up. It is cold and windy. So, yeah. But we're tough. So we are okay. so tough. Yeah. My son's in the truck. <laughs> but we, uh, we're out here. We're clearing out some space because Devin mentioned in a previous video, but we're going to put another container behind our main container. And if you notice over Devin's shoulders, we picked up a couple of uh, 275 gallon IBC totes. I'm pumped. That this has been one of the projects that we, we've wanted to do out the gate, but that was to uh, start rainwater harvesting. So the, the plan is, and then I'll let Devin explain kind of what we're thinking with the, uh, with the totes, is we're gonna put that secondary container over here. It's gonna be about eight foot between the two and we are going to build a roof essentially along the length of both containers where we can park equipment and things under and then uh, we're going to collect a lot of water from it so let's uh let's go over to the to the uh totes real quick and devin's going to explain kind of what we're planning on just picked up this uh, utility trailer uh from northern tool yesterday we put it together this morning uh it took a little time but it was nice and easy very easy to do this is going to be where we're going to use one of the IBC totes to take out to all the trees that we have planted and the future trees that we're we'll planting. So let me try to explain how we're going to be filling up these two ICBs. This can only hold about 2200, uh, excuse me, 1100 pounds, right? Yep. And a full IBC tote is 2200 pounds. So we can only fill it up halfway on this car to safely drive it. Does that make sense? It makes total sense. We currently have those five chestnut trees planted. And right now we've been just schlepping out those five gallon jugs of water uh, for each tree. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. We're going to be buying more trees in the spring, right? And getting those in the ground. I don't know, 10 more, 15 more. Those will be fruit trees. And so we, we can't do it by hand schlepping those five, five gallon things every time. So that's why we got the ICB totes. Let me show you what we plan on doing with the ICBs. So two ICB totes, one will be permanently sitting on the trailer. That one is gonna be higher than the one on the ground. When the water comes in from the overhang that we'll be building, it's gonna be going directly into the one that's on the cart. That's gonna be attached to the one, the other one that's on the ground. So as it's filling in there, flows in the other one, now once that one comes up to, you know, the bottom of the one on the trailer, hope I'm being clear here, they'll rise together up to the point where it gets to the top of the one on the ground, then we'll have an overflow. What that does is when it tops out the one on the ground, the one on the trailer is only gonna be half full. So it's not gonna exceed the weight limit much on the uh, cart. Does that make sense? That was a great explanation. I don't know. And then the overflow, we're thinking about maybe putting a uh, little wildlife watering thing here that the kids can manage. So there you go. That's great. Excellent explanation. Mm -hmm. So we've got to clear out a couple little trees, uh, some more trees over by the uh, entrance where it's going to get dropped off. You know, if you watched our initial, um, when this when this container got delivered, they have to have a straight shot to pull out of. So once they drop the container, they have to be able to pull straight out. So that's why we have to clear some some trees. The other plan, once we get that roof put in, uh, is to hook up solar to both containers. Whereas right now we just have this one and this, this is, how old is this Devin? That's like 12 years old and it's janky and it barely suffices uh, to hold the lights for, like today it's overcast and those lights will only stay on for a few minutes now. So great job. Yeah. So, oh, and do you remember the math on about how many gallons of water we will get per inch of rain? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs>